Okay, just uh, going over a few of the functions in the F7 menu. Since uh, you know, Max put out these tools, I thought I'd show some of mine. So here's the F7 menu itself. As you can see, the hour, the day, time of day, got just up here. It's live time. You can set that to any time you want. Set it to 12. Where's the sun? 11. So as you can see, it skips across. You've also got a freeze button, so the sun stops moving. You can set that to whenever you want. And I've also got the ability to change character acceleration. So we'll triple that and the run speed, so I can set that. Uh, I might add some shortcut keys to set those to specific values at some point. Again, with the coordinates, which we'll get to. But yeah, basically that just speeds me up. So I can also just set it to crazy numbers. Hey, why not? <laughs> I just like sprint across the whole map. As you can see gravity doesn't quite work at that point, but hey, who cares? Then you've also got the coordinates. So I could teleport myself around instead of running. I don't actually know the coordinates for anywhere, but... I might set up a, again another sh shortcut key button for that. Teleport around. Geronimo. Okay, I've also got a button on the menu, a uh, free cam, which will basically spawn the dev cam when you click that. So you can kind of float around very slowly. But I'm sure there's a way to speed it up. I just haven't looked much into it. As you can see, your character is actually invisible. You're not there. And you can have a look around. So, And then w when you turn it off, it pops you back over here. I've also got flight mode, which is my favorite. Because I uh, actually don't have the key balance set. Yes, I do. Oh, there we go. Fly up is R and F for some reason. But yeah, basically just enables you to fly. Uh, it's no gravity mode, so there won't be any braking. Yeah, you have to press another button to brake, so it's not quite as good as the dev cam. But if you want to move around without like changing to a uh, an object that can't interact with the world, you know, hey, there you go. Uh, you can also turn off collision and just go through the floor. Let's not go over that way, spoilers. Okay, so for the next cheat, let me just double check my key binding. Yeah, it's C, currently. So if I walk over here, and I look at an item I own, and I hit C, I get another one! <laughs> it just spawns between me and the object. Then this newest cheat that I've just added, stand near a pan, press, I think I've set it to F3 currently, and you just hold F3. Oh, it's not saying it to that pan, it's saying it to that pan for some reason. <laughs> but there you go. I think I might have set that by index rather than uh, distance. But as you can see, it just spawns rocks every, like, a whole bunch of random things. Just in case you want to test things out. And there you go. Look at that lovely, lovely rock spawn. Uh, I might actually speed that up because it's kind of slow. But yeah. And you can pick it up and go... Rah! <laughs> That's beautiful.